In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for SE and SE2 minus. So the first thing we need to know is how many valence electrons we have for SE, for selenium here. So if we look at the periodic table, this chart will give us an idea. So when we look at the periodic table right here, this is SE. So we are looking at group 16, sometimes called 6A, which will have six valence electrons. So all of these here, they have six valence electrons. And you can see the general trend here, one, two, we skip the transition metals all the way up to eight. So we're going to have six valence electrons for SE. So we can just put these around the SE atom. And this would be the Lewis structure for SE, just neutral SE. But if we have an ion, in this case, this is our ion because we have this ionic charge, this two minus up here, we need to draw a different Lewis structure. If we look at the periodic table organized by charge, by ionic charge, we can find SE again here. So it has a two minus ionic charge, just like we have written up here. So you can see the trend for ionic charge here on the periodic table as well. That two minus means it has two extra electrons. So here's how we'll draw the Lewis structure. Let's move the two minus over here a little bit, and then we'll just write the electron configuration for SE. So this two minus, that means we have two extra negative charges, two extra electrons. So we're just going to add these here to our Lewis structure. And you can see now we have eight valence electrons in this outer shell, this highest energy level here. This is very stable. So that's why this SE, it'll gain two electrons here to become this SE two minus ion. We should put brackets around the SE to show it's an ion. So these are the Lewis structures. We have it for neutral SE, and then we have this SE2 minus ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.